I've ever been. Good morning. Welcome to our travel day video. We are currently headed from the house to DFW. Uh, we're going to be leaving Dallas and flying over to Flagstaff. So um, this will be our road trip through Arizona and part of Utah. So we'll stay a couple of days at the Grand Canyon and then we'll head on into Page, Arizona. We're going to be doing an Antelope Canyon tour. We're we'll going to see Horseshoe Bend. And then from there, we're going to forge on to maybe Monument Valley and on into Moab where we'll rent a side-by-side, -side, hopefully see Arches National Park. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be a wild week. Come along with us. Ooh, it's hot. I'm kind of sequestered over here by myself. So I am a little confused. Um, Earlier when we were looking, you know, just to make sure that our gate hadn't changed, it said that we were supposed to be at gate E30. Now, I've told y'all before, I haven't been to Terminal E almost maybe once. And then it switched to E29A, and I'm walking, and there is no E29A. Like, it jumps from... Spirit Airlines has been given all of the announcements. Like, the longest, probably the past 10 minutes worth of announcements. No, she's, she's gonna keep going. See what I mean? Okay, let me make this quick because somebody else out here at Spirit is gonna make another announcement in about five seconds. Anyways, there is no E29. There was no E30. It jumps from E32 or 31 rather. I'm at E31. The next gate down is E21. And I even pulled up the map because on American Airlines app, there's terminal map. There is no E29. <laughs> is this a joke? <laughs> Never mind. I'm an idiot. <laughs> now I remember the last time when I was walking that way towards those gates, I kind of got distracted by a fish tank. <laughs> and that's where I needed to take a lift. <laughs> uh, but I don't think I've ever been over here. This is a trek. I feel like. I'm I'm getting down into a subway tunnel or something. I'm like, am I in Dallas? Let me tell you too, I'm ready for masks to be a thing of the past. Because when I'm trucking across an airport and I'm huffing and I'm puffing, it's hot. I'm sweaty. Found the gate. Over here. I'm in the land of announcements. So now we've got about 25 minutes or so until we board, and then we've got a two hour flight or so. So, yeah, and we've got a storm coming in. That's not fun. We knew that there would probably be some high winds today, um, and now it kind of looks stormy, so it makes me a little nervous, especially being on a small plane, but we'll see how it goes. On a happy note, we did get. Uh, complimentary upgrades to first class. <laughs> landed in Flagstaff they said everyone who has priority bags will be laid out on the ground so that you can pick them up first and keep going. We are in Flagstaff. This is a really cute airport. It's small. You pretty much have like one terminal here <laughs> and one baggage claim so you can't get confused you can't get lost. Um, as soon as you come in off the plane I mean like 
your baggage claim, your rental car service, get something to eat some Starbucks, whatever you want, is there. We just checked in at Avis. So like I said earlier, we're renting a car. I want to say we've got a couple hour drive from here to Tucson, which is about 15 minutes from the entrance of the Grand Canyon. We're just waiting for the rental car guy to finish checking everybody in. He's gonna give us the car and let us get on our way. All right, so we have our Kia Forte. Kia Forte. You know, we gotta get coffee. And one of our favorite coffee places, Dutch Brothers, is here. Um, I told Jeff I was thinking that it was kind of just a Pacific Northwest thing because the only place I personally had ever really seen a Dutch Brothers was when we went like um, to the California Redwoods and up through Oregon and stuff. This coffee is so good, but it is like the caffeine is all there. Well, for me, I'm, I guess I'm caffeine sensitive. We both got the Orange Groove, I think is what it's called. I saw it on their website and it's orange infused cold brew sweetener and cream I think cream something like that whipped cream maybe or cold foam Jeff says cold foam tastes good oh that's good and it's not too orange like a cold brew but with a hint of a dreamsicle it's beautiful here I don't know much about Arizona because I haven't really I haven't I don't think I've mom said I went to Arizona when I was three that doesn't count I don't know much about Arizona and all I ever think about Arizona is desert plateaus and I know that that's like a small-minded thing but anyways it is beautiful here woods pine trees mountains that have little snow peaks we've got about an hour and a half or so to get to Tucson to our hotel and it's only noon here now um, our two-hour flight also put us two hours behind central time so maybe if we get there in time we might be able to peek at the Grand Canyon today I don't know we'll see Inn Express. Come on. <laughs> okay. Let me show you what you get here at the Holiday Inn Express. Do say on. Just come in the front door. Sink. Bathroom. J.R. Watkins shampoo, shower gel, and conditioner. And then back this way. It's a double queen television they give you a keurig here with coffee what else do we have breakfast blend columbian select earl grey tea cups uh an ice bucket back there um oh, open this way refrigerator and a microwave which is really nice because a lot of hotels are phasing those out these days oh this pulls out i thought this was another drawer no that's kind of cool Drawer, hair dryer, drawer, desk to do your work. I do like the extra outlets here. Those are just plugs, not USBs. Again, we've got more plugs. Not USBs though, in case you're wondering about that. Let me see if they've got any USB plugs over here. Uh, one, you've got one USB here, two more plugs here. Sometimes they'll have, um, oh yeah, there's two more. So, so far I'm seeing three USBs total. If you need to plug stuff in, you may want to bring, um, you know, like a big outlet thing if you need to plug more USBs in and you don't have enough plugs. Let's see what kind of view we've got, actually. I didn't even look at that. Oh, okay. Let's see. Got another hotel over there. I think that's like the Red Feather Lodge or something. I think our new plan, instead of trekking out to the Grand Canyon and seeing what we could see and then come back and stuff and then go to dinner, I think what we're going to do instead is wait and do that tomorrow. Um, I saw a Mexican food restaurant that sounded okay. We, I'll take Mexican food anywhere. Mm, I love Mexican food. I could eat it any day. How about you? What's your favorite kind of food? Like, what is that one type of food you could have it 
any day of the week, over and over again, and you're good. Let me know down in the comments. Oh my God. Whoa, 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 door. This is the windiest place I've ever been. Flagstaff, very windy, to say on uber windy. We took like an hour break after we checked into the hotel, uh, watched a little Harry Potter because when it's on, you gotta watch it. And now we are going to get some dinner here in Tucson. We found a place called Plaza Bonita. But yeah, we're gonna head over there and see what kind of food they've got. I'm hungry. Oh, don't, oh, don't, that is. Bueno, si. We stuck to our usual Mexican food entrees. I got chicken flautas, beans and rice, and Jeff ordered arroz con pollo, which is chicken and rice. You know we got chips and salsa, a big thing of queso, and guacamole. That dinner was so delicious, uh, but Jeff found a tip online that said you need to get to these restaurants by five or they fill up, and it was right. He was right. Oh my God. Okay, hold this for a second. Don't turn it off. If I let go of this door. I know. Okay. Okay. It is now 6 p.m. and it's completely full in there. So definitely if you're here, get your dinner early or you're probably gonna have to wait a while. Okay, we were about to end the video, but Jeff needs to look for a beanie. So we came to the general store. There's slippers. They've got all kinds of stuff here. Now I'm just in here shopping. What do you think, Jeff? Is this for me? Yeah. It might be for me. They don't have anything else. Is this going to be your beanie? Maybe. <laughs> no, they don't have any beanies, so Jeff might be wearing a good skin cap. <laughs> yeah, if you're in Tucson, come on down to the general store. They've got growlers. They've got beer on tap. Fill that puppy up. I mean, anything you want to drink, they've got it. Not alcoholic. Alcoholic. Y'all need to tell me what this is. What's up with these caps? Do we have a problem with people opening bottles in the store and taking sips? They don't have them on the wine bottles, just these straight up alcohol bottles. Seasoning, creamer, tools, potatoes. So they do have some groceries here. Beanies. Found a beanie. Yeah, come to the general store for sure. Stock up on everything you need. Bread. Need to make a fire, but make sure your fire is out completely. Let's not start forest fires, okay? Oh, they even have like backpacker meals, the freeze dried meals, so that you can add hot water to them. There's you a trowel so that you can, if you need to poop on the trail, you dig a hole, go to the bathroom in it, cover it up. And there's a door to the Starbucks toasted vanilla shake up. candy bar. That is weighty. All right, that is our very windy day to Tucson. We're going to be going to the Grand Canyon tomorrow. I'm so excited. I hope you come along with us. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and we'll see you tomorrow. Safe and beautiful travels.